That's absolutely fascinating because um, a neuroscientist who deals with aesthetics is finding out the way in which we respond to beauty of music, of painting. And he's working out, trying to work it out in a scientific way, analyzing our responses and analyzing, um, uh, yes, analyzing our responses. As a musician who is putting across music, whose job as a musical director of things is putting across music to people and as a teacher, my job is to find out which pieces um, work for people, how music works for people, how I, what I do with things to make it work. And so that's fascinating. I've never thought of it like that before, but it is the same thing. It is exactly yeah. the same thing, but from a completely different angle. Yeah. For example, and I would love to know whether your professor is able to, um, is he professor? Yeah. I'd love to know whether he, uh, yesterday I was doing, I was doing with a choir, a bit of Take Him Earth for Cherishing. Um, uh, and the bit that goes, and then it goes into, and then it goes from that key, and then suddenly, and that moment is spine tingling uh, at the moment. And if you just do, that, you know, and I, I influenced it with a look on my face, yeah. but if you do, that the very fact that I can emphasize it with a look on my face is fascinating. But if you do, immediately you think, oh, now what's the difference between those two? And one of them I went, yeah. and the other I went, Okay, was it my facial expression? So let me put the wrong facial expression on the wrong one, just <laughs> yeah, as an experiment, yeah. okay? So. I found it very difficult yeah, to do so it. That's... Very difficult to do it. Now, I'll have a matter of fact look while I do the intense one. I couldn't even play it. I couldn't even play it. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Mm. I find it impossible. I've never done that before. Yeah. I, I find it impossible to change my expression yeah. from one to the other. And in getting people to express themselves beautifully, musically, I actually, I, I want to go one step further than beauty. I, I want to say, well, many things are beautiful, but not moving. Yeah. And so to make, make it moving, I think that mm. alone, played on a beautiful Steinway like this, you know, is, is great anyway, but it can also be moving. And then add to that the words at that point of the piece and, it, and, it, and it's overwhelming. And, and then it brings a lump to the throat. How can a few noises from a piano bring a lump to the throat and, make, and give you shivers down the spine? Um, um, and that's the ultimate mystery. It, it digs into your emotional place in your mind for emotions. And I'd love to talk to your professor about it and find out what it did. But it, it, it digs into it somehow, and it explores it, and looks at it, and reorders it, and out it comes. And so you may ask, and many people ask, well, why can, why can you have sad music that moves you? Surely, if you're feeling in a bad way, you need happy music. Yeah. To, but what about this one, one of the, one of the most sad pieces ever written? Um, Ebarmadish uh, from the Matthew Passion, where um, where Peter um, has let down Christ um, by denying that he that, that he knows him, and um, then he remembers that Christ had predicted that he would deny him three times, and then he is uh, just abject with grief that he's done that. Mm. Mm. And 
so on. Mm. And that is so powerful um, that I'm now finding it difficult to speak yeah. as, because it's so powerful. But it has a way of tapping into that emotional thing. I don't know, yeah. your, your professor would have a better word for it. There will be a, it's an emotional <laughs> center. I'd love yeah. to know what it's called. Yeah. Digging it up and, and sorting it out so that, and bringing it up. And the, the word cathartic you can use, yeah. um, and, um, if you like. And, um, but even then, why do we have the word cathartic? Why does it work to be cathartic? We don't quite understand that. Yeah. But music really does do that. And that's why we object sometimes if music's trite. We say, why do we do it? Yeah. Well, you know, why is it just jolly for the hell of it? It doesn't do anything to me. Yeah. It, it's, people say that um, it, music um, uh, portrays emotions. Well, yes, it sort of does, but I think there's a abiding, big, powerful, emotional source that it does something to, and it, it is the very ba it taps into the very basic ba base, the, the the fount of of emotions, the where it all comes from, and deals with that somehow. And you could also say, well, um, I'm I'm not a very good pianist, but. Uh, mm. But I can portray how beautiful this is. Now, supposing a good, that, that's a violin, violin melody, a good violinist comes along and a good pianist or a beautiful orchestra and plays it absolutely stunningly well. What do we mean by well? Yeah. What, what is it? Well, um, answer, how does it um, get closest to our emotions? How does it work? So, 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 so. And then we, we are then talking about beauty, because is that called in tune, for example? Or is, is one of the players playing, instead of playing that, da, playing, da, and you'd say, oh, ah, so it has to do with beauty. So it has to, we have to have, to have beauty we are talking about aesthetic things. Yeah. Um, but then on top, before it can tap into that emotional thing, it's got to be beautiful. And yet sometimes somebody, you can hear, a, I remember in South Africa, it was fantastic. We went to a place, to a church, and where we were singing, and a man was taking a, a workshop with us to show us how to sing certain mm -hmm. African songs. But uh, I was listening to it, and I heard a little distant singing, weak, gentle singing going on and I followed it to, through this church, went to another um, room and there were um, about 16 old people in a queue waiting for soup, which apparently would be their only meal of the day. Mm -hmm. But before they have this soup, they sang a hymn. Every day they would sing a hymn in full four part harmony with little wavering old voices but it was profoundly moving mm. because they were singing this hymn together, yeah. all of them, before they received this food. Mm. Music. Yeah. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know how it works.